Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this Windows Command Prompt video series, we are going to look at drives and directory structures on the Windows platform. In the process, we will learn how to navigate drives and directories. To do that, let's open the Windows CMD. Now I will type in the search area CMD, Command Prompt. Great. Here, the drive says C colon backslash users backslash user and the right angle bracket. What this line means is here I am on the C drive and on the C drive I have the users directory which is for the system and inside that directory I have a user. This could be your username or the current user that is logged in onto the system. Now, I am going to open the file explorer to explain this further. Great, here it shows that I have different directories on my computer. Yours may be similar or different. Now, to see the directories on your computer, click on this part, this PC, or click here on the this PC part. It will bring up this window. Here, it shows that I have got three drives. The three drives I have here have a letter in each of them. I have here letter E drive because I have a USB attached to my computer. And here I have a letter C drive, which is for this system. I will explain this in a minute. And here I have the letter D drive, which is for the DVD drive. Not many computers have this these days, but what do the letters stand for? Let me explain this a bit further before we start navigating it. For data storage, for the letter C, in the early days of the computer, the first ever IBM personal computer, that's PCs, had door floppy disks. They did not have hard disks. For that reason, the floppy disks were named A and B. Later on, when hard disks were added, they were installed as C, D, and so on. So that is how the letter C came about. It became a standard and it was only in the late 1980s that hard drives became a standard. In that sense, they were logically labeled C. Furthermore, the hard drives were used to store the operating system of the computers. There are some other drives labeled with different letters like H drive and so on. By default, when you launch the Windows command prompt on your computer, it is most likely to take you to the C drive. Now, let's look at the Windows command prompt again. Here, it says C colon backslash users backslash user, then I go bracket. What about if we want to navigate around these directories and drives? For example, if we want to go one level up, we use the command cd space dot dot hit enter great now it's taking us one level up which is for users and if we want to go up again we run the same command cd space dot dot hit enter now we are back to the c drive we can do it the other way around if we want to go to the users directory cd space users hit enter great now we are back to this directory and now for us to go to this directory the user directory we do this one cd user hit enter great now this one is where we are which is exactly the same as this one where we were at the beginning to navigate to this part on the file explorer i'm going to open the file explorer here i will click on the c drive now on the c drive i will scroll down to users i will click on users and now you will click on user great this part here c users user is exactly the same as this part here c users user 
We can also navigate our folders or directories with this command. To do that, I'm going to open a file explorer. Here I have a folder and I'm going to open the command prompt from this folder. CMD, hit enter. Great. Now I am going to minimize this one and I'll move this one up a bit. Now I have a part that says C colon backslash users backslash user backslash desktop backslash AI dev backslash my apps and this is how it looks. This is the part here and this is the part to it from the CMD. If I want to go to the AI dev folder or directory, I will do the same thing cd space dot dot. Now hit enter. Great. Now I am back in this folder. And if I want to go to my desktop, I will do cd space dot dot. Hit enter. Now I am on my desktop directory or folder. And to go to the user directory, I will do cd space dot dot hit enter now i am one level up now to go to the users folder or directory i will do cd space dot dot hit enter now i am one level up again i'm in the users directory now to go to the c drive i will do the same thing cd space dot dot hit enter now i am on my c drive that's exactly the same thing as using the GUI. That is using the graphical user interface to click on this folder, this folder, and this PC. Let me move this one up again. If I want to see all the commands that I have used, or the steps that I have used to get this file, I can do that. But before that, let's see it again. If I want to move back to this directory, it's still possible and very easy. You have to CD user hit the tab key to complete it for me and space and and cd the next one here now is user and cd user space and, and cd the next one is desktop space and and cd the next one is ai dev space and, and cd my apps so what this command will do for me now is it will take me back to this initial directory if i hit enter great this one is exactly same as this one so instead of coming to my desktop looking for ai dev and my apps i have just used this command now to navigate straight to this folder and now to see all the commands that I have used since I opened this command prompt window, I can run this command does okay, space forward slash history. Now hit enter. This one up a bit. Great. Here it shows the two main commands that I have been using since I opened this command prompt. So this video was to show you how to navigate drives, directories, and folders using the command line prompt. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye for now.